Alexa, lamp on. For a lot of individuals with cognitive disabilities, physical disabilities, the potential of technology is huge. Put a peanut bottle on goes to the left. It really has been encouraging to see the impact of what that technology can do in terms of their independence. The process for getting the technology into the individual's home starts with goals first, understanding that person, and then finding the tech that can help them meet those goals. We then discuss various technology that might be appropriate, and at that point, we get the tech in the hands of the individual and do training along the way, making sure that that technology is right for the individual and the staff. And we might have a vision in our head about what tech is going to be best, but until we have some sort of trial, we really don't know for sure. In one case, we have an individual who uses a wheelchair. She can't call loudly enough where staff always hears her to get up during the night. She was at a potential risk for a fall. And then it was trial and error time. And so it was a learning process. What we did was to have a button that the individual would engage to call for assistance. The staff would be alerted by a voice alert. Assistance needed in bedroom. And a lamp in the common area would turn red. So they would both have the visual alert and an auditory alert. In the room itself, when the individual pressed that button, a light would turn on dimly so that when the staff came in, there would be kind of like a night light. Everything okay in here? If they forgot to engage the button, we wanted to have the backup option. And so in that case, a motion sensor would detect them starting to get out of bed. When you go to bed at night, think of all the things you have to do and picture how challenging this could be for someone in a wheelchair. You have to turn your TV off and you want to lock the door, turn all your lights off. One of the advantages of the smart tech is that you can create a routine called bedtime that all with the touch of a button, it does it for you. Or you could simply say, Alexa, good night. That's independence, that's autonomy, that's what tech can do for you. Since an individual's needs change um, as they grow, it's important to stay in contact. Maybe there's a need for training or if there's needs to change the tech programming. Um, a lot of that we can do remotely. The staff are not expected to do the continued updates um, with the tech itself. If there's a problem, we want them to realize that they can continue to engage myself, the help desk, etc. There's lots of different technology out there and the tech is changing. It's really a neat opportunity to do research and identify different opportunities to help the individuals that we support um, gain independent living skills um, and really help them help themselves to be the most functional and independent um, individuals that they can be.